Attorneys, digital reporting may sound high-tech, but in reality, it's nothing more than after-the-fact transcription of an audio or video recording. And there are quality, security, and privacy concerns you should consider before choosing this method. Or worse, when you think you've scheduled a stenographic recorder and a digital operator is surreptitiously substituted in their place. Digital operators will tell you that the method of capture doesn't matter, but let me show you the difference and you decide. Cinegraphic reporters create a real-time written record, so when the testimony is unclear, they control the proceedings to ensure a full record of that testimony is captured. That's not the case with digital operators. During your deposition, a digital operator is only capturing what they call tag notes and an audio recording of the proceedings. These tag notes are little more than a few typo-riddled words that a typist can jot down in haste because they lack the speed and accuracy that stenographic reporters have mastered. Thereafter, a transcriptionist or a team of transcriptionists are tasked with transcribing the proceedings without the opportunity to ask for clarification, often resulting in inaudible or missing testimony. The person typing up the proceedings often isn't the same person who is there recording it, yet the recorder is the person that certifies the written transcript, often sight and seen. An audio recording of the proceedings is merely a backup tool for a stenographic court reporter. For digital operators, the audio recording is their only record that's of any use, a method of capture that can be compromised by poor audio quality, background noise, and technical or user failure. While digital companies now claim that they can offer real-time services with the aid of automated speech recognition, ASR companies require five to eight transcriptionists to keep up with a single stenographic reporter providing the same service. The number of uncertified individuals with access to your proceedings should also raise concerns about maintaining the confidentiality of your transcripts. It's not hard to see why so many additional human beings are needed behind the scenes to prop up technology that's not ready to be unleashed on our court system. As a stenographic reporter, this is what my notes and instantaneous record look like. The difference is clear. With the aid of real-time technology, I create a simultaneous record, which means my editing time is far less than someone who must type the proceedings from scratch from a recording. It should be noted that the only reason I can make a side-by-side -side comparison of the same proceedings is because the full audio recording and all associated files of these non-public proceedings captured by the digital operator were released without permission of the parties to a third-party ASR transcription company, who then shared them with an undisclosed number of recipients across the globe with no redactions. This is the testimony of a medical care provider in a family law case involving minor children that would not have been available to non-parties for all of these reasons. So don't be fooled by double speak, buzzwords, and sales pitches. Digital recording is merely third-party transcription masquerading as new technology. Know the difference, demand a stenographic reporter, or you just might be going to trial with incomplete, inaccurate transcripts, or worse yet, no transcript at all if the recording failed.